Hey what is up everyone I hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have a small stone is suspended by a light inextensible cord from a helium filled balloon of radius r and mass m when this balloon is released in a hall it moves up and encounters the ceiling inclined at an angle theta fine friction between the balloon and the ceiling is sufficient to prevent slipping find range of values of m not of the stone so that the balloon stays stand still touching the ceiling density of air is rho not fine okay simple question from now on i'll be solving questions which are more related to je uh, in fact uh, i have thought of discontinuing the pathfinder series after i reach 600 subscribers after that i will solve few uh, test series questions which are more useful for je advanced okay uh, because pathfinder questions most of the questions takes a lot of a lot of time okay and many questions are not relevant to je so i have thought about this one so let us go to the solution of this question first let us find the maximum value of m not and the corresponding free body diagram would look like this for a value just greater than the maximum value of m not it, because of just a slight increase from the maximum value this balloon will lose contact with this inclined plane so for the limiting portion n will be zero because for some value of m not n will be zero okay so that below that value of m not it should be the maximum value right so as you can see the free body diagram i am not drawn the friction here because we will put n equals to zero so the downward force that is the weight of m not and weight of this whole balloon will be balanced by the buoyancy force and buoyancy force must be equal to volume of the balloon r cube times density of the surrounding air times g okay so the downward force is balanced by the buoyancy force so we'll get the maximum value this one okay so for maximum the range of m not should be less than this value it should not be less than equal to it should be less than okay now for minimum value of m not this would be the free body diagram because if you start decreasing the value of m not okay for minimum value of m not we need to take its maximum torque okay so you can't put m not here because it will create a less amount of torque so for maximum torque the perpendicular distance can be r okay so this is the free body diagram for minimum value of m not normal is there friction be there because if you start decreasing m not further it will start to roll in this way and it will travel upwards okay and that is that cannot happen fine so the upward force that is the buoyancy is balanced by n cos theta mg m not g and the downward force of friction that is f sin theta fine so this is the first equation balancing the vertical forces balancing the horizontal forces n sin theta will be equal to f cos theta okay uh, clockwise torque due to m not g will be equal to anti clockwise torque due to this friction right oh this one sorry from there we get this one and uh, from equation 2 and equation 3 we get normal equals to m not g cos theta by sin theta we got n we have f just plug these two values in equation 1 okay you'll get something like this calculate and you'll get the minimum value of m not so the range of m not for which the balloon will not roll on the inclined plane will be this would be the minimum value and any value below this would be the maximum okay so it is not less than equal to it should be less than okay because if you take this value there will be no normal it will come downwards okay so i hope you found this video helpful and informative and as i've said that there will i have thought of discontinuing the pathfinder series after 600 subscribers i will be solving a few all india test series questions which will be helpful for your exam please let me know in the comment section uh, what do you all want I think the latter option would be much better for you, okay? So, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.